Winning an INTJ's trust is like winning the lottery. But instead of winning money, you win a loyal friend for life. Trust to INTJ's is like love at first sight, except for the catch. You must maintain that first good impression they had of you at all times. So if you appeared as a jerk or a VIP, you should stay that way forever. Once distrusted, the INTJ will avoid you at all costs. Your presence will irritate them and they will develop a strong prejudice against you. INTJs are not trust demanding, but believe that trust must be earned. This quality of theirs has put them in the trouble for being among the most trustworthy people you can ever find. Here is a countdown of the qualities you must possess to earn an INTJ's trust. Honesty is a national symbol of INTJs. You want to get under an INTJ's skin? Be honest and learn to call a spade a spade. In today's world, Honesty is a scarce commodity to find in others. Honesty is not only a trait that only our entities are looking for, it is a universal currency to buy trust, and billionaires says it is of highest value in the business world. Time is as valuable to our entities as bananas are to monkeys, and time management is a huge deal in winning an our entities trust. For punctuality and assiduity goes hand in gloves in the our NTG universe. Your time management skills has a lot to tell an INTJ in terms of commitment, interest, and seriousness. If you will run late, hurry up, and when you arrive late, apologize and don't make it a habit. Late comment summarizes who you are in one word to INTJs. Lazy. Breaking a promise as far as INTJs are concerned is like breaking someone's heart. Making promises you cannot fulfill is a dead giveaway to INTJs that you are not trustworthy. Don't say things for saying sake. Save them because you mean them and back them up with action. They will go to great lengths if they have to, just to honor a promise and expect everyone to do the same to their promises, for promises are dead. Don't oversell your competence in the presence of INTGs. Instead, use that opportunity to showcase what you can do and let them be the judge of it. Because you cannot fool an INTGs. They are the epitome of what competence means. They don't trust braggarts because they exaggerate a lot which is sometimes good for business but bad for winning an INTJ's trust. To be on the safe side, be like them. Undersell your competencies and overdeliver them when it is necessary. Like food, trust is a delicacy that everybody enjoys but nobody knows how it is prepared.